So where are we today? Day 2014 after a long battle with independence. Lived a sad, belligerent life. Defrauded the Scots. Taxpayer of hundreds of millions yearly. Whilst committing crimes against humanity and rec recklessly endangering life will not be missed. My goodness, so where are we today? This is a very iconic, very famous part of Scotland. This is the, the peace camp at Faz Lane. Yeah. And we have a very, very special guest. We only met Finn two minutes ago. Say hello to YouTube, Finn. Hello. Right. How long have you been living here, buddy? Uh, just over a year. I came up at New Year last year and so, since then just kind of stayed. Uh, we, we only spoke for five minutes. One of the things I'm thinking is, with the geopolitical situation just now, things are just going absolutely bonkers. Why isn't half the population of Scotland in here supporting you guys? It should be. The, yeah, there's so many political things going on at the time. There's a cost of living crisis. So people are more worried about the sort of day-to-day -day things and it's just such an overwhelmingly big... Like the threat of nuclear annihilation is too big a thing for people to think about, and it just yeah. kind of gets. Surely the cost of living the crisis of other... ties into this. It does, but then there's so many other things as well. That it's yeah. So we're so caught up in it's, our own bubbles, yeah. our own media, our yeah. own day-to-day -day lives that, that we, we forget even, the number of people that don't in Glasgow that don't know that 20 yeah. miles away there's nuclear submarines and nuclear weapons. That are, Would something that be then? Yeah, Gavin Bliss. We've got less national news now, though, isn't it? We've got less news that's highlighting what's going on here, where it's all kind of like we're either all on YouTube or we're all on Netflix now, and we're skipping. You know, like to say, yeah, that, that, that's a good we're, point. We're missing with, all of that. With, with the rise in social media, you would think that people would become more politically active because yeah, we're not real. The newspapers are so controlled and so yeah. they, they they just spout propaganda they're, they're, nonsense. They're, yeah, they're all yeah. controlled Aye. by the, a lot of them are owned by. Right, so you've been up here for a year. Do you know any support mechanisms where people can help you financially? How can we donate um, £10 to you? Have got Fazling got a... Uh, has the Peace Camp got a PayPal or any of that type of thing? I'm not sure. I think we might do. I'll need to, I'll need to ask somebody else. Right, what, 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 what we'll do is... We'll, that would be good. Yeah. Right, we'll yeah. find out and link it in the description. Yeah. Any way to donate at all would be excellent, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. There's uh, a Facebook page as well that you can follow. It's right, I'll, I'll link the camp. Facebook page in the video as well. It, people of Scotland, we need to get our fingers out of our backside here, you know. There's folk in Glasgow that can't heat their houses or eat their, you know, afford, afford yeah. their dinners and the they're biggish. They're pumping billions into this every year, exactly. It seems come, ridiculous. Come, that, when I was speaking to Finn earlier on, the missiles are physically moved from the Coolport base to the Fazlane base on trucks. They're, they're moved around that way on water, but they're moved up from parts of them are moved up from down in England in Oxfordshire way towards Aldermaston. So the Aldermaston they move on they a move truck. Parts up and here. nuclear sort of parts yeah. of it up on trucks and convoys up on the roads. But the itself is just not yeah. right at all. No, yeah. yeah. The, the the actual missiles when they're moving to the submarines are transported on water. Yeah, they well they move the, they drive the submarines around up down Loch Long you can and see up them. onto Gearloch quite often. Seriously, you see, you see them going past, so surrounded by police boats. But how big yeah. are they? The wee bit on the top, the wee bit that sticks out the, the top, probably about you know, a bit of 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 the Peace Camp's Facebook page and try to get some uh, support mechanisms. Finn, thank you so much for your time. Right, you. and, and as I say, if you're Scottish, for goodness sake, do, do we want grannies sitting in cold houses with no heating on from the most energy-rich country in Europe? Do we want American bloody nuclear weapons threatening people that live in yeah. cities we don't can't even pronounce the names of. That's it. I know we don't. We've got no idea uh, who owns them, who controls them, and it's strange. I know that it's Babcock that runs this site, which in its own is a big, massive private contractor. Lock, uh, Lock, yeah. Lock, Lockheed Martin have got a an office in Glasgow, so it's not even as if 
Scottish people are getting particularly high end the real paid jobs out of this. Yeah. It's all getting no, it's contracted all getting, in. You know? Yeah. yeah. And, well, totally and the, the jobs that could it could what could it be done instead of like a renewable site or there's so many other things that, that could be doing. it could they could be doing there. Yeah. Finn, this, with this is one a fraction of the money and the they, they, this is one not a lot of people will know. Before the Channel Tunnel was built, the most expensive engineering project in British engineering uh -huh. history was, was Coolpo. Yeah. So say goodbye so, YouTube. Uh, I shake my hand, make a friend. <laughs> Gavin, you should goodbye YouTube. Right. Cheers. Th th thanks so much for your time. Thank you.